As you can see, these are small amount of raspberry bushes sticking above the snow. And they're doing quite fine. Towards the middle is a black raspberry. Further up is a gold, but I don't think it survived. I don't think it was living when I purchased it. So they're gonna replace that this spring. And so I'll have a fresh plant in that area. Um, thinking about, yeah, I'm gonna put it in that area there. I'm thinking about, I'm gonna move them around as the years pull on. Over here, these are the trees that are very small, my smallest of trees. This is a Fuji. And over here is a, a honey crisp. They always grow faster. If you want a fast growing uh, tree, uh, get a, get a honey crisp, that's one of the fastest ones. And these hills are gonna be brought down there. Uh, the leaves that I had brought in. And there's a lot of them there, so snow melted there first because there is some temperature underneath that that those leaves that's why it melted in those areas first but wherever you see the hills at right there that are uncovered those is those are the areas in my yard where the temperature got the, got up a little bit and it melted the uh, snow and ice so there's still some activity as far as heat is concerned like this compost pile here that um, uncovered itself <laughs> using uh, its own heat. This one as well. That's why. And this one's more cooked than anything, this pile here. But it, it's ice, it's ice underneath and everything. Uh, but this is uh, going to be my primary fertilizer this year. That and a couple other things I think I'm going to try, but this will be the primary. I'm not buying fertilizer every year. I'm not going to do that. It is a waste of money for someone to do. Uh, but keep in mind, this will be formulated. Uh, I use the same formula once this is processed. This will be heavily processed. Uh, what I mean by that is all the little twigs and all of that will be removed and it will be smooth and it will, uh, it will have a um, uh, a formula added to it that will make absolutely certain your garden gets exactly what it needs. This is enriched compost once it's processed. That's what it will absolutely be. See something a little different? It's because there are wood chips on the garden. It was for all my garden, all the way up to this area here. All the way down to here. It's covered with uh, wood ash. Very thin layer. And up here at the main garden, if you look, it looked like it was on fire. Uh, that's the main garden. From here to here is covered with wood ash. I was worried about, maybe I didn't have enough, but the most important thing is you do a really thin layer, very thin layer. So from where that stick is closest to us, all the way back up to this end here, all the way across here has been, wood ash has been put down. This is my main garden here. That looks bad right now, but once it seeps into the ground, when rains and snow come, it will, absolutely add certain minerals to the soil. Basically, it is a free fertilizer. I bought no fertilizer this year. I added lots of wood chips to my ground, which I topped it off basically. Got it back to six inches deep. And uh, once I got the, the wood chips in, now I'm adding the, the um, wood ash. This year, we're looking at a situation where this garden is gonna produce heavy crops. So I wanna do everything just right and I'm doing everything early. Make certain that the nutrient levels are there in the soil. A lot of us do gardening backwards and no disrespect to anyone. They fertile in the spring. 
and fertilize in the spring. That's backwards. You need to fertilize as soon as possible, winter, and allow all the nutrients to be in the soil the time you plant your plants. But all the books are telling you, put them in in the spring and put your plants in, that's, a, that's backwards. Time, the, the fertilizers break down, there are no, there's no need to have them there. The plants have already run their course. So they get very little nutrients from the fertilizer you're using. But with this method of gardening, which is putting down uh, wood chips or uh, organic matter early in the season, you get an opportunity to get the fertilizer in the ground. That's the whole purpose and for it to start breaking down so that the plants can get it uh, to it and the microorganisms can break it down to a uh, to a point where the plants can take in the nutrients. Remember plants don't eat dirt, they eat nutrients from the dirt. So basically the microorganisms are what is feeding your plants. They're eating their waste materials in other words. And in return, your plant excretes a sugar that the microorganisms and mycorrhizae and all of those good people that live in the soil, I call them people, but they're actually forms of life, they process the, uh, uh, the, uh, the organic matter down to different levels. And when I say levels, it means one microorganisms waste is food for another microorganism and here we have a good case of I added wood chips oh excuse me wood ash to my compost pile and uh, over here to this one as well not much just a little and that's what you want to do you want to do it in the winter and the main garden is covered with uh, ashes. And ashes, a little tiny bit of biochar that's in the wood chips, I mean in the wood ash. So basically, if you, if you uh, analyze it further, um, wood chips and wood ash, it's all wood products that is fertilizing this garden. And it's gonna be great, it's gonna be a great deal going to be a great deal this year. Morning Garden Show, thank you.